In biology, molting or molting, also known as sloughing, shedding, or in many invertebrates, ecdysis, is the manner in which an animal routinely casts off a part of its body either at specific times of the year, or at specific points in its life cycle. Molting can involve shedding the epidermis, pelage, or other external layer. In some groups, other body parts may be shed, for example, wings in some insects or the entire exoskeleton in arthropods. Examples In birds In birds, molting is the periodic replacement of feathers by shedding old feathers while producing new ones. Feathers are dead structures at maturity which are gradually abraded and need to be replaced. Adult birds molt at least once a year, although many molt twice and a few three times each year. It is generally a slow process as birds rarely shed all their feathers at any one time. The bird must retain sufficient feathers to regulate its body temperature and repel moisture. The number and area of feathers that are shed varies. In some molting periods, a bird may renew only the feathers on the head and body, shedding the wing and tail feathers during a later molting period. Some species of bird become flightless during an annual wing molt and must seek a protected habitat with a reliable food supply during that time. While the plumage may appear thin or uneven during the molt, the bird's general shape is maintained despite the loss of apparently many feathers. Bald spots are typically signs of unrelated illnesses, such as gross injuries, parasites, feather pecking, or feather plucking. The process of molting in birds is as follows. First, the bird begins to shed some old feathers then pin feathers grow in to replace the old feathers. As the pin feathers become full feathers, other feathers are shed. This is a cyclical process that occurs in many phases. It is usually symmetrical, with feather loss equal on each side of the body. Because feathers make up for a euro 12% of a bird's body weight, it takes a large amount of energy to replace them. For this reason, molts often occur immediately after the breeding season but while food is still abundant. The plumage produced during this time is called postnuptial plumage. Prenuptial molting occurs in red-collared widow birds where the males replace their non-breeding plumage with breeding plumage. Equals forced molting equals. In some countries, flocks of commercial lair hens are forced molted to reinvigorate egg laying. This usually involves complete withdrawal of their food and sometimes water for 7 a euro 14 days or up to 28 days under experimental conditions, which presumably reflect standard farming practice in some countries. This causes a body weight loss of 25 to 35 percent, which stimulates the hen to lose her feathers, but also reinvigorates egg production. Some flocks may be force molted several times. In 2003, more than 75% of all flocks were force molted in the U.S. Other methods of inducing a molt include low-density diets or dietary manipulation to create an imbalance of a particular nutrient, S. The most important among these include manipulation of minerals including sodium, calcium, iodine and zinc, with full or partially reduced dietary intakes. In reptiles The most familiar example of molting in reptiles is when snakes shed their skin. This is usually achieved by the snake rubbing its head against a hard object, such as a rock or piece of wood, causing the already stretched skin to split. At this point, the snake continues to rub its skin on objects, causing the end nearest the head to peel back on itself, until the snake is able to crawl out of his skin, effectively turning the molded skin inside out. This is similar to how one might remove a sock from one's foot by grabbing the open end and pulling it over itself. The snake's skin is often left in one piece after the molting process, including the discarded brill, so that the molt is vital for maintaining the animal's quality of vision. Conversely, the skins of lizards generally fall off in pieces. In arthropods In arthropods, such as insects, arachnids and crustaceans, molting is the shedding of the exoskeleton, typically to let the organism grow. This process is called ecdysis. It is commonly said that ecdysis is necessary because the exoskeleton is rigid and cannot grow like skin, but this is simplistic, ignoring the fact that most arthropoda with soft, flexible skins also undergo ecdysis. Among other things, ecdysis permits metamorphosis, the sometimes radical difference between the morphology of successive instars, 
and the fact that a new skin can replace structures, such as by providing new external lenses for eyes. The new exoskeleton is initially soft but hardens after the molding of the old exoskeleton. The old exoskeleton is called an exuvary. While molting, insects can't breathe. In dogs. Most dogs molt twice each year, in the spring and autumn, depending on the breed, environment and temperature. In amphibians, both frogs and salamanders molt regularly and consume the skin, with some species molting in pieces and others in one piece. Gallery. References. External links. Crayfish molting video on YouTube, molting and chicken and other fowl.